Are you ready to nail party? I will be using my custom original competitive edge double thick extra long nail forms, my extra adhesion nail liquid, my natural powder, the I'm on vacation collection, no shade, a light blue, on the rocks, a cool white, summer spritz, a muted orange, my glass dappen dish, my clean it, my large flat Kalinsky red sable brush, my bold striper art brush, and my towelettes. Sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. And I will be using my crystal spray decanter, available in peach, gardenia, vanilla sandalwood, and fragrance free. Sanitize your hands and your client's hands. The nail has already been prepared and I applied my first coat of primer. Now I'm going to apply my nail form. Split the form. Stick the little wings together. Place the curve underneath the free edge. Stick down the sides. Secure your form. My nail has already been prepared and my first coat of primer dried. This killed the germs on the nail and dried out the oils in the nail. Now I'm going to apply my second coat of primer right before I apply my acrylic. This promotes adhesion. And I always have my primer in a primer holder with a little towelette so my primer doesn't spill. And I can dab my brush so I don't oversaturate the nail. Make sure you never get any on the skin. Then wipe off your brush before you place it back into your bottle so you don't contaminate your primer. This is going to be a long nail, so I will be using two free edge balls. I dip my brush into my liquid. This is going to be a large ball, so I need a lot of liquid. So I only wipe off a little bit of liquid. Drag towards me in my powder. Pick up a large ball. Place this ball halfway down the form. Let it flow. One, two, three. Pat it out. This is going to be a round almond. So I pat it out side to side. I'm going to stroke it out, then out the tip. Start rounding out that tip. Get my shape just how I like it. There we go. Once I get my shape, a little bit more there. There we go. Wipe off my brush. This is also going to be a large ball. Dip my brush in. Only wipe off a little bit of liquid. Pick up a large ball. Place, slightly overlapping the free edge. Let it flow. One, two, three. And then stroke it out. Side side, center. Get it nice and smooth. Blending both the free edge balls in together, getting a nice shape. There we go. Wipe off your brush. Tap down your powder. My next ball is going to be halfway down the nail bed, and this is a smaller ball. Dip your brush in, wipe off more liquid, pick up less powder, it's about a small medium ball, place halfway down your nail bed, let it flow, and stroke it out, side, side, center. Wipe off your brush, dip your brush in. This is a small ball, wipe away from you, drag towards you. Place this ball 1 32nd inch away from the cuticle, let it flow, stroke it out, side, side, center. Wipe off your brush. The next ball is going to be my stress ball. Dip your brush in, wipe away from you. Less liquid. This is small to medium ball. Place this ball almost at the cuticle area. Release liquid into your ball. Let it flow and then stroke it out over the entire nail. Builds up a nice little stress area. Just smooths out your nail. Gives it a nice shape. Wipe off your brush. My nail is starting to dry and it's no longer shiny, so I'm going to squeeze my C-curve. Start down at the nail bed. 
work your way out all the way to the tip. This makes the nail really strong and nice and tapered and narrow. Makes it look really pretty. Start at the nail bed, again, working your way out. When the nail is dry and you can hear it click, remove the form. Pull it off away from the nail there. Squeeze together the tip. Comes off really easy. I will be using my disposable 180 grit long lasting zebra file. And this file has a special zinc oxide coating which makes it really smooth and easy to file. And I will be using my disposable clean finish buffer which is made out of material and not made out of paper. So when you buff it doesn't leave any grit on the nail. You can also use it dry, wet, or with oil. And they're so easy to use. You just peel off the back. And stick it on. Peel off the back. And stick it on. You're ready. Before I start filing, I like to score the edge of my file using my buffer. So when I file around the cuticle area, the file is nice and smooth and it doesn't cut the cuticle. Now I'm going to file my nail in five steps and my first step in filing is straight out from the nail groove on the right. Holding the finger and the nail securely, file straight out from the nail groove. Just slightly tapering in. My second step in filing is straight out from the nail groove on the left. Holding the finger and the nail securely, file straight out. And since this is going to be a round almond, I'm going to start slightly tapering in. So I'm straight out and then taper in slightly. Step number three, I'm going to shape the tip of the free edge, holding the finger and the nail securely. I hold my file flat, file from the underneath, and this will give you a perfect round almond. And then just clean up around the tip. Get a nice little shape. Step number four is the cuticle area and the top of the nail. File down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side in a horseshoe pattern. Down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. Nice long strokes. Getting that nice curve on top of the nail. Now I'm going to file around the cuticle area. There's a little road. You have product, natural nail cuticle. I'm going to place my file in that little road and file the product flush with the natural nail. Down on the side, across the top, down on the other side. Step number five, turn the nail around from the client's angle and bevel down towards the tip. This is the angle the client's going to be looking at for the next two weeks and you want to make sure it looks beautiful from their angle. Nice long strokes, bevel out towards the tip until it looks nice and even. Now I'm going to buff the nail using my clean finish buffer. Hold the finger securely, down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. Make sure you go around the cuticle area, get it nice and smooth. Down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side and out towards the tip. Again, holding the finger securely. Take your buffer and go underneath. Get it nice and smooth. Even up the edges. Have the client go scrub their nails with peach antibacterial soft suds and a plastic manicure brush. I'm going to pour a little bit of clean it into my glass dish and this is to keep my brush clean. Now I'm going to apply Flawless Base. This will help your gel polish to not peel from around the edges. Wipe away from you and wipe towards you just a little bit. Place 1 32nd of an inch away from the cuticle. Push towards the cuticle and then nice long strokes. Cover the entire nail. Cure 40 seconds in an LED or 2 minutes in a UV. Now I'm going to apply on the rocks my cool white gel polish. 
wipe away from you just a little bit towards you place 1 32nd of an inch away from the cuticle push towards the cuticle without touching then nice long strokes cover the entire nail Here, one minute in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Now I'm going to apply my second coat. Again, nice long strokes. Cover the entire nail. Cover the whole nail from side to side. Always using long strokes. Get it nice and smooth. And just clean up the edge a little bit with a little clean it. Cure one minute in an LED or two minutes in a UV. I place a dollop of my No Shade Light Blue Gel Polish on my palette and a dollop of my Summer Spritz Muted Orange Gel Polish on my palette. Using my Bold Striper, I'm going to completely fill my brush with Summer Spritz and get a little point. And then starting where I want my wave to start, Place my brush and then go into my design. So easy. I'm just going to fill it in. Get a little bit more. Just going to fill in my wave. There we go. Go all the way to the side. Fill it in. So easy to do. The striper is so nice. Get it just how you like it. Now I'm going to do a quick cure for 15 seconds. Now I'm going to clean off my brush before I go to my next color. I very gently place my brush into my clean it and then very gently wipe my brush off onto my towelette and do this a couple of times. Very gently, don't get in a hurry. You want to make sure that you're very nice to your brushes. Very gentle. There we go. Now I'm going to use No Shade to do the other side of my wave. Fully load your brush. And then just wipe off the tips. You have a little bit of a point. You don't need a lot of a point, just a little bit. Then you're going to place your brush where you want to start your wave. And then just follow it around. Get a little bit more and fill it in. Super easy and so fun. I love this. So cute, so summery. Now I'm going to do my full cure. One minute in an LED or two minutes in a UV. I'm going to clean off my brush. Dip my brush gently into my clean it. Gently wipe off my brush. Always make sure you clean your brushes when you finish and they'll last you a long time. Put my lid back on. Now I'm going to apply my glass slipper, a super high gloss, no wipe top gel. Wipe away from you, just slightly towards you. Place one thirty-second of an inch away from the cuticle. Push towards the cuticle without touching and then nice long strokes. Cover the entire nail. Now I'm going to do my full cure. One minute in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Now I'm going to apply my conditioning cuticle oil available in peach, gardenia, and vanilla sandalwood. This is so good for the cuticles. It helps eliminate hangnails and it helps the natural nail grow out healthy. Now we have the I'm on Vacation Color Wave Long Acrylic Nail. And it's so easy to clean up. Just peel off your strips. Disinfect your plastic boards. Fold up your disposable table towel and throw everything away. 
make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And remember, at Tammy Taylor Nails, nails are always fun and never feel like work.